looks like the rumors were true. Terra FR, early release. I want to say it's about a month and a half earlier than it was on the JP side. And I welcome it. And I got the thing in 50 tickets. Amazing, amazing. I was so worried about this one after getting completely screwed by Camel and Titus. But that's okay. Terra came through. And I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Every time she gets updated, she's incredible. Every single time. I remember back in the day, people were selling her short. And back in the day, I mean, that would be the Phoenix Plus era. I was like, no, get Laguna. You gotta get Laguna. Don't worry about Terra, get Laguna. I use Terra so much more than I ever use Laguna. So to each their own. Don't don't just listen to what other people say. Find your own way. Because half the time, that's what it's all about. Spin, 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 who gives a shit? This is supposed to be the Terra show. Just fast forward through this. We are doing zero turns. And normally, I don't really care about zero turns with Shinryu, but... I don't know, I just, I, I couldn't resist, I couldn't resist. So, basically the plan is rain down spears. So Freya got up in the air for free. Our summon is ready from all that. Our FR gauge is full. Okay, and you just keep milking those Freya spears a little bit, okay? Do not bring Ifrit. Just bring Odin to this, because as you can see, um, hold on, let's see. Look, watch when Kane. Hits one, that's right. This boss drops all of your braid damage to one, unless it's non-elemental, or uh, holy element. I believe holy element uh, bypasses that too, but every other element makes it hit once. So just bring Odin. I mean, we did just get him level 40, so that's one reason to bring him, so that you don't hit ones in your summon. And for that reason, Garnet might be a little uh, iffy on this stage, but what with the entrance and stuff. Granted, it probably doesn't matter, because she has so much battery anyways, that you're gonna just cut through it regardless, but this worked out better for me. And you'll see why. You'll see why when we get out of this summon, we go into our burst. It'll make perfect sense. So we're gonna stop hitting ones right about, well, after this. Classic Terra Strats. The LD on the last turn of the summon to get out of the summon without using a turn. See what I mean? The second we got out of the summon, Freya broke them. Because we're not hitting ones anymore. So now this is... This really is the Terra show. You can't even see anybody else. It looks like it's just Terra versus two giant robots. Well, and I say that and then Ryzen shows up. See, look, he's hitting ones. He hits thunder. And the weird thing is, even... Even the follow-up attacks hit ones, even though they're not enchanted with thunder. I don't know if that's just because Raiden went and still registers as a thunder attack. I, I have no idea why that is, but you'll see moving forward. They're not gonna hit, they're not gonna hit ones anymore. It was just when we did the Raiden call. It's a little strange. So we're gonna get this beauty effect up, and I know I've been preaching going into your burst when you are at turn seven of force time. We're gonna switch it up a little bit this time. And you can see why, and it will make perfect sense. That's why I'm doing that. We don't go in at seven, we go in at eight. We go in at eight. And the more savvy amongst you have probably already figured out why I'm doing that. But I'm not gonna spoil it. You will see when we get there. Which will be pretty soon, because I think we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna FR right now. Right now would be a good time. To really get this going. Stop their gauge from building. By the way, this FR animation is hands down my favorite. I didn't even want to speak through it. That is glorious. That is beautiful. Terra and Kuja, both from two separate games, both that have trance mode. They both go trance, they fly around, and they blast magic at everybody. It's mwah, it's chef's kiss, it's beautiful, it's my favorite FR animation. Hands down. Okay, so... One more turn. Her FR conditions, by the way, are instant turns and magic damage. That does not count in the burst though. Like you have to use skills that would be instant turns. Like the LD works or any free skills that she gets as a result of the LD also work. See, meltdown up to 60. So now we just build that gauge as much as we can. 
Oh, oh. Important things to note. I probably should have brought this up in the beginning. This stage cucks Camelot really hard because of the elemental thing with the ice. So there's that. He'll hit one. Um, they're immune to all forms of paralysis. So that also cucks Cam's FR effect. And they're immune to launches. So that cucks it even further. So as good as Camelot is, not here. Don't bring him here. He will, do, he will do nothing but drag you down. Do not bring Cam here. I think we should EX. Yeah, let's EX. I don't know if this is like an optimal Terra Burst rotation. Now, I was, again, I was just kind of going for low turns, not so much damage output in the burst. But, but that's okay. I probably could have used the LD and then the FR. But I was trying to be conservative with turns afterwards, which we didn't need to be at all. A at all. I completely underestimated how well this was going to work. I just thought I'd try something and then went, whoa, okay, okay. So now we LD, of course. They will turn warp at 50%. They'll just take your turn and each one of them will attack three times in a row. If you're unfamiliar, that's at 50%. So a Raijin call is helpful. Even though it is only for two turns as opposed to the three that they get. You know, I, you know what? In retrospect, Raijin call probably wasn't necessary. Better safe than sorry, I guess. But they're going to just miss anyways. Because two-thirds of the team is in the air. But check this out. So this way, we will get raining spears as we are still in force mode. Look at that. One turn left, that's probably one in the eight, not seven. Who would have gone in at seven? This would be barely doing any damage at all right now. But they are just killing themselves right now. Look at this. They swing, they miss, and they get destroyed because we are raining down Dragoon Spears. I love this. I'm so happy this worked out as well as it did. And we're not even done. Look at their health just draining. Look at that. One more for good measure. Oh, you're going to hit Terra? No, you're not. That was the luckiest miss ever, but it's not like it would have mattered anyway. That would have just been... Yeah, that, that wouldn't have been anything. Who cares? With one turn left of force time. And two Terra LDs left. We had plenty of juice and didn't even need it. Kaboom! Done. Well, I for one am very happy with the early Terra FR. Oh, um, you'll probably see at the end of this, but one of the score requirements is uh, to bring a green crystal. <laughs> so have fun. Who'd you guys run? Thanks for watching.